Let's speak about tomorrow night's big match. What's the team news? Uh, we're going to have a count up and see. Uh, we've got a few doubts uh, after Saturday, certainly. Uh, I don't think any of the defenders that we're missing uh, will make it for tomorrow night. So it'll be hopefully pretty much the same 18. There is excitement and expectation building. Um, can that act in a positive way for the players? Well, I hope so. They were all, you know, after the game, uh, amidst the jubilation was, you know, we still need a point. We still need a point, right? Let's get it done on Tuesday night because the sooner you get it get it done, the better. Wrexham and Stockport have already done it uh, and we don't want it going into Saturday where you're keeping one eye on, you know, another result at uh, uh, Harrogate VMK Dons. We want to do it on off our own bat uh, tomorrow. Is one of your main objectives as manager tomorrow to keep the players focused, relaxed and calm? Yeah, it's going to be very difficult in the, situ in the circumstances. Uh, but yeah, if we can do that, we'll, we'll do it uh, and approach it as we have done the other 43 games this season uh, in a po as positive a manner as we can. Yeah, you'll treat it as just another game, I'm sure, but knowing that it's not... Uh, we have to try and keep that on a, an even keel uh, tomorrow night because there will be a lot of emotion and a lot of expectation and optimism from the crowd. So we need to use that to our advantage uh, and tr first of all, try and get a goal. Uh, that will settle things down. Uh, so that will be our intention from the, from the off. Casting your mind back to when you were a player, what's it like when you're heading into potentially momentous, significant, historic fixtures like this? And not too many of that, of that description that we've played in, but uh, you, you're a little bit nervous, you're excited, um, um, but you just hope that you're coming out on the right side of it uh, after the 90 minutes. And uh, The feeling is one that, you know, uh, we want to have. We nearly had it on Saturday in terms of, you know, when you were just that one point short. Uh, let's get the job done tomorrow. And what about as a manager in the dugout? It'd be the same, uh, same as uh, all the, the feelings, uh, the emotions and the nerves and, and that sort of thing. Um, and it's, it's always it's a bit of a cliche, but once they do go out there, you can't do an awful lot to control it. You know, we've, we've prepared for the last eight and a half months uh, for this moment. Uh, so we've got to see it through. It's not new to you this though, you've been in this position before as a manager, can you count on anything, any any experience from the past heading into tomorrow? No, not really, uh, other than uh, you just don't want a decision you know, going against you in this situation that can affect things, uh, you don't expect anything in your favour either, uh, you just want the game on its merit uh, to be decided. Um, I hope there's enough spirit and determination in the camp. Uh, to get that point or three. We, 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 we can't, you can't play for a point, that's the only other thing. You can't go out and say, we wouldn't get a nil-nil. Uh, it doesn't happen like that. Uh, so we'll be going for the win.